What's up, folk? It's your boy Mick from A Puff A Minute. And uh, I'm going to do something different today, all right? Something a little bit different. I had some people come at me and they asked me if I would consider doing some tutorials, right? Something to help people who are new to the cigar game, you know, learn a little bit more about the cigars, you know, maybe help them enjoy their cigars a little bit better. And uh, so that's what this is. But I'm going to be honest with you guys, when I was first asked, I was mad hesitant, right? This is not something that I aspired to do because I've seen other people in the past do tutorials and they, they've done it in a very uh, condescending manner, okay? And what I mean by that is the whole, you know, I'm the big cigar aficionado expert and you're the neophyte and I'm going to give you some of my knowledge, you know, to try to help you along. That ain't what this is about. As a matter of fact, if anything that you hear from Mick, if anything that you hear, you know, from a puff minute, you know, detracts from the, the enjoyment that you have when you're enjoying your cigar, throw it away. Don't deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Because all we're here to do is to help enhance your own experience. Okay? So today I decided to start with something that nobody told me when I first got into the cigar game. It took me a minute before I understood what people were talking about. And that's the way that you actually measure cigars. Okay? So, yes, somebody just asked me, does it matter? Yeah, size does matter, okay? <laughs> so, how do you measure your cigars? Well, the length is easy enough, right? So you know that the length of a cigar is measured in inches, right? And it could be anywhere from, you know, you know the little nubs or, you know, two and a half inches, six inches. You got the big Churchills or what have you. But we'll talk about that down the road. But basically, it's measured in inches, okay? The diameter, all right, is a little bit different. It's also in inches, but if you take the inches in diameter and divide it by 64, that's going to give you what we call a ring gauge, all right? So mostly when you hear people talk about a cigar, they're talking about the length and the ring gauge, okay? And just for the record, man, you can take this or throw it away. 64 ring gauge is basically one inch around in diameter. Okay, so if you hear somebody say, um, you know, I'm looking for a five by or five and a half by 60, let's say five and a half by 60, right? They're basically saying they're looking for a cigar that is five and a half inches long with a 60 um, divided by 64 ring gauge, all right? And that's literally how it comes about. Why did I choose that size? Because I just so happened to have right here, <laughs> imagine that a cigar that is five and a half by 60, okay? So give you an idea of what that looks like, all right? I'm not gonna tell you what the brand is because I really don't know, two reasons. I'm not wearing my glasses. And secondly, I just grabbed this out of my humidor. I don't even know where it came from. It, it may have been a gift or, you know, or what have you, but it, I'll check it out. Maybe I'll give you a, you know, a note on that later on down the road, a review or something. Um, Another thing to, to understand is when you're talking about a cigar like this, you know, five and a half by 60 or 60, by the way, that's considered a larger ring cigar. There are many reasons why people enjoy larger ring cigars. Um, one of them is because, you know, it's the fact that it's larger ring is because it is packed with a lot more filler tobacco. So that means you're going to get a lot more complex flavor a lot more complex aromas from that, this particular cigar. Um, you know, and again, it could be a blend of different types of tobacco as well that's gonna bring even more enjoyment to you. So uh, that's some of the reason why people like larger ring cigars. Another one, basic, is you get a lot more smoke out of them, right? Um, it's gonna take a longer time to enjoy. Now here at A Puff A Minute, we recommend that you do not exceed A Puff A Minute. Why? Because we want you to savor your cigar. We want you to enjoy the experience all the way through. You know, I like to refer to it as a mini vacation. When I like this cigar, there's nothing else I'm going to be doing for the next hour and a half to two hours, guys, but relaxing and enjoying my cigar, maybe pairing it with a nice bourbon, you know, maybe watching a game or something like that. But the rest of the world is on pause because it's mixed cigar time. Okay? Yo, listen, that's your nugget for the day. Again, I'm your boy Mick from A Puff A Minute. 
be sure to subscribe you know to a puff a minute subscribe right now you know there should be a link at the end at the bottom of your page or whatever but subscribe to a puff a minute so you can get more tips you can get more nuggets all right and you can be you know have access to all of the content that we put out all right on a weekly basis so again remember at a puff a minute we are not just blowing smoke peace and we'll see you next time mm -hmm.